Three major things that can make a woman to cheat on her husband. If you're a married man, listen carefully. This will save your home. My name is Chima Amanda. But you can call me Pecunia Money. I am a relationship therapist and a sex coach. Number one thing that can make your woman, your wife to be precise, to cheat on you is emotional and physical absence. A lot of you men are always very busy with work. In fact, you are not even living in the same city with your wife. It is possible that you are working in Lagos while your wife is in Sokoto or maybe your wife is in Abuja, you are in Lagos. You hardly spend quality time with her. You need to understand that this woman, she is a human being that has emotions and feelings. So most times, when you're done from work, if you come back home, you don't always give her that time and attention that she needs. Because if you, you guys have kids now, so she should go take care of the children while you go out there to find money. But it doesn't work that way. As long as you are having physical absence, you know, you're not giving her those attention she needs. Because obviously, you are the only person she's going out with. She, you guys are not doing courtship. That she will say, okay, uh, maybe this man, since you're not giving me attention, let me find another man to give me attention. It is because your presence, you are, you are losing that presence in your marriage. So you need to learn how to spend some time with your woman. If you are working in Joss or if you are working in Lagos, why don't you bring your family over? With that, you can, it can help you to save your home. When I talk about emotional absence, this is also in a situation whereby you're a man and your wife will dress some type of way you will not praise her you always find a way to make her feel less of herself you always insulting her that she's getting fat that she's too big you know one insult or the other it sounds like a joke to you but deep down her she's not happy and whenever she's not happy if she goes out there to meet other married women right you know, she'll be complaining that my husband is always complaining that I am big, I am this. Those women will be telling her that she's fine, that another man's food is another man's poison. And since your husband is no longer accepting you the way you are, I can find you someone to be, you know, that can appreciate you. And before you know, since she's, she's, she's mingling out with some people and she's going out, obviously she'll be tempted to find someone to appreciate her for who she is. And this is the reason why most married women once they are divorced, they begin to glow well and do a lot of things for themselves. So you don't need to have that mentality that uh, because you are married to this woman, you know, some things you are doing for her has to reduce. No, your wife and your kids are your major priorities. Number two, lack of intimacy. A lot of you men feel that, okay, because your wife has given birth to kids, that means her Private is now loose and you're no longer enjoying it the way it should be. Man, whatever situation that that body is, it is because of your own sperm that caused it. Yes, without you producing something, you know, depositing something in her system, she won't be the way she is. She will still be very young and vibrant. So you need to learn how to manage the situation. A lot of you men, for the last six months to one year, you, you don't even know the color of your wife like the, the the pants you know we don't even know how the color of her own is you know you don't even know now a lot of you men i know that some of your wife may be kind of dirty or maybe each time you have intimacy with her you feel some type of way you guys are married why don't you open up and have that conversation with her do you understand me it is possible you have had that conversation with her before and she's been aggressive you need to calm down and find a way to still communicate with her again to see if your marriage will be peaceful. Because a lot of you guys complain that your wife is not giving you peace of mind. Any time you come home, she's always nagging. She's always this. It is because she's tired. You men, you guys own this better because you can actually go out there and cheat and do all sort of things. You still come back to your wife. But your wife cannot do all those things and that is why it is more frustrating to only see the same man over and over and over and over like it it can make any woman get mental disorder do you understand so whenever she's nagging you need to understand that yes this woman she's also trying for me 
try as much as possible to understand her mood swing and calm her down. Then the last one is money. A lot of you men are very myopic in thinking. You think, okay, because you are giving your side chick 100000 for weekly allowance or monthly allowance, then you go home and give your wife 20000 to cook pot of soup. You don't even give, you can't even remember the last time you gave her money to buy makeup. You can't even, you can't even remember the last time you spent money on her. Do you understand me? You don't even shower her with gifts. You need to learn to appreciate your woman. Do you understand? That woman, she is the mother of your kids. You need to learn how to appreciate her. If you appreciate her, you know, she will begin to bring more favor. A lot of you men are suffering in business today because your home is not peaceful. Because your wife is crying every night and day. Because of the bad words you have been telling her. Because of the way you have been acting towards her. Do you understand? The Bible even said um, two becomes one when they are married. So obviously you and your wife, you guys are two. I mean, you guys are one now. So with whatever thing you guys are doing, you guys have to be partner in crime. Anyway, she's not getting it right. Try to correct her. Try as much as possible to correct her. As long as you want that marriage to last and you don't want a divorce, please. These three things are very important. Devo um, create time for your wife. Emotional and physical time is very important. Emotional must not be, you know, you having intimacy with her. You know, just you praising her. You know, maybe she's in the kitchen. You can just walk into the kitchen and spank her ass, kiss her. You know, all those kind of petty, petty things. We ladies love it a lot that, yeah, my husband is not beginning to appreciate me. Do you understand me? And if there are some things she's doing that you don't like, open up. That's why you're the man of the family. Open up. With that, if she is willing to, you know, put more effort in there, Marry. she will realize okay she has been a lot of mistake and it's high time for her to correct herself so these are the major things that can make any woman to cheat and most especially when you are not good in bed if you know your wife is a is kind of is kind of person that you know that she likes intimacy a lot you guys can improvise by getting adult toys don't be so myopic man this is a this is this is 21st century get adult toys Go to this, um, to um, sex toys and, you know, get uh, um, sex to, uh, stores. Get all those toys to, you know, to spice up your relationship. Do you understand me? Whatever thing you think is lacking, just put in effort and pray that God will help you. These things are the things that can make any woman to cheat on you. So if you know, you are beginning to suspect that the way your wife is taking care of you, the way she's calling you, the way she's showing consign in one way or the other, that is no longer there. It is simply that it may be that there is another thing that is trying to take attention from you. And once that thing begins, that marriage will soon end. So you don't need to go to her to start raising your voice at her or start acting some type of way. You need to be a man. <clears throat> By correcting your wrongs. With that, she can come home and take care of her, you know, and perform her wife duty properly. Thank you and see you next time. Share this video, guys. Bye.